the drugs which make you pee more. So the mnemonic I use to memorize this drug is malt. Malt is a grain we use to make alcohol. When you drink alcohol, to make you pee more. So this is the same with the diuretics, to make you pee more. So you kind of memorize malt, it's used for alcohols, that make you pee more, and then the so does the diuretic to make you pee more. And then here is our kidney structure. So now we're gonna imply our mnemonic on our <coughs> nephron. So what I'll do here, I'll take the word and write them down here. Here's our M. I'm gonna write my M here, which means they basically work here. Then there's A, I'm just gonna write A here. And next is our these small tubules. We kind of don't worry about this because they are not that much important. In, in pharmacology, we always look at the bigger picture. So then we move here. Then our next word is L, so I'm gonna apply L here. Then our next is T, so I'm gonna apply T here. Then we have our collecting tubules, which are like straight. Just gonna add this to here. Have our first one. M stands for many toilet. They basically work on proximal conduit tubules and they make things move faster. So M for many child, M for move faster. Then we have the second one, acetazolamide. They make the environment acidic, acidic. So they excrete the bicarbonates and water follows it. Then we have diuretics. They basically work on sodium, potassium, and chlorine pump. They don't let these ions go out and when they stay inside the water follows it to keep the stable osmolarity then we have thiazide diuretics t for thiazide diuretics which block sodium to reabsorb sodium stays inside the tubules water follows it then we have potassium sparing diuretics they work in the same same manner they block the black sodium channels and sodium cannot go out so the water follows it and eventually causes diuresis more water to go out but they spare they spare potassium to come into the tubules and they cause hypercalemia